close up this looks like. The surface of a huge mechanical planet! I'll take you higher! So huge, it's hard to believe he's real! I know what you mean, but you saw it happen, we all did! In fact, we were right in the middle of it! I didn't think we were gonna make it! The ground started shaking, and huge hunks of machinery were moving around! And then the whole thing changed, and the planet Cybertron became Primus, the creator! How is the prep coming along? Almost done, boss. <gasps> it's amazing that we might actually get to talk to Primus. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what he'll have to say. Hmm? What's the matter? I really hate to say it, but you guys look kind of uncomfortable. It's Primus, bud. He's the creator. We're standing on him with our dirty feet. I sure hope we don't get smited for this. We have the connection. Joke, it's time. Yes, I'm on my way. What's the Minicon doing with that cable? Simply back. Before, when we inserted the Jungle Planet Cyber Planet key into the Omega Lock, Joel was the one who relayed a message from Primus. Don't worry, you'll do great, Joel. Thanks, bud. This is a biggie. Yeah. Okay, everyone, let's get started. Roger that. Primus, this is Optimus Prime. Can you hear me? I can hear you, all of you. Let me convey my gratitude to you who answered my call. <clears throat> we have many questions for you, Primus. We need your guidance. Ask me anything. Can you tell us how to close the gigantic black hole that is currently threatening the vastness of the galaxy? This thing you speak of, it is no ordinary black hole. Where are we? Huh? Primus must somehow be sending images to display his story directly into our heads. What are those? Huh? Behind me are two forces, good and evil, that have been balanced since the beginning of time itself. The red is the good, and the purple is the evil force? Yes, although they constantly battle, the two forces had always remained in balance. And then... That's it! The purple force! The power of evil has disappeared! Optimus Prime, you and the Autobots defeated the evil Unicron. We kicked this planet-eaten butt is what we did! All right, team! I don't understand the problem. You defeated a great source of evil. The universe became unbalanced, and that imbalance caused a distortion in the fabric of space-time. That distortion became the black hole. Ah, that does it. My mind is blown. Please, Vector Prime. What does this all mean? I'll try to explain it to you a bit better. Unicron came into the universe at the same time as Primus. From the very beginning, the universe was made up of both good and evil, and one cannot exist without the other. Hmm. Look, bud, just check out this cord, okay? You can't have heads mm -hmm. without tails, get it? Yeah, huh? It just doesn't seem right to me. I mean... Come on, we have to have evil? <laughs> Guess so. Okay, now we know how the black hole was created. But what I need to know is how we can destroy it. Only I can complete that task. But first, you must restore my spark by placing all four cyber planet keys into the Omega Lock. Oh, wait a minute. Starscream has already stolen and absorbed some of your spark. And right now, we only have three of the keys. That is correct. The last one is still missing. Where can it be? If only we could retrieve that map. Even if we get the map back, will it help? I mean, Starscream and Megatron both have a copy of it, and they haven't found Squat. Those two can't find it. But why can't they? Huh? Who are they? What are they doing? They're looking at the Atlantis pattern, the one from the Omega Lock. 
The pattern is a diagram of the space bridge. These wise elders are deciding where to place the four cyber planet keys. Hey, it's Atlantis! See that ship over there? That's your ancestor ship that brought your people to Earth. Huh? So the others are headed for... Our planets. That's the ship. That's where the last cyber planet key is located. Oh. What gives? It vanished. Why? The planetary system was caught up in a wormhole. What did you say? A wormhole? But where did it go? It was transported to another universe. Another universe? There are many who believe that there are an infinite number of alternate universes. If the fourth key is in another universe, there's no way you could detect it. That makes perfect sense. That is why Megatron and Starscream have failed in their attempts to find the fourth planet. But Optimus, it would seem that we're in the same proverbial boat. What can we do? If we can retrieve the map, we might be able to find the wormhole that connects to that universe. Um, what's the matter, mate? Primus's energy seems to be spent. The Creator's return to true consciousness is still a long way from complete. Starscream drained a large amount of Primus' power. Primus, one last question. What is the name of the planet we seek? The, the name, name of, of the, the planet, planet is... Gigantion. What, Gigantion? I can't believe it's the giant planet. So, you heard of the place? Yes, it's the home planet of your friends Jolt, Reverb, Six Speed, and Safeguard. Huh? What? what? Hey! Why are you guys looking at me so weird? Oh, oh, wow, that was weird. That's a good place until we get out of Back to the land of the living, boss man. Sideways, you rescued me? That's right. So just where are we? Our new hideout. What about Megatron? Optimus Prime? So many questions, boss. Things have gotten real interesting, but instead of me talking, why don't you take a look, see for yourself? Can you move? Primus Spark works wonders. Okay, let's go! Okay, Jolt, where's your home planet? Well, uh, I don't really, uh... What does that mean? Vector Prime, a little help? Huh? My path crossed that of the Minicons as their ship drifted aimlessly through space. And let us thank you again for that. Why were you guys adrift in space? That's a good question. We were playing hide and seek and the ship was an awesome place to hide. I wonder if our friends are still looking for us. I wonder. <laughs> your friends, uh, uh, how should I say, the people of your planet, are they all small like you? Oh no, not at all. There are bigger transformers there. It come to think about it, they might be a little larger than you guys. So the giant planet has two types. So the reason the minigods are small could be that they evolved that way, just like I evolved to my environment on Jungle Planet. That could be, Snarl. That's all real interesting, but if these little guys can't remember how to get home again, we're spinning our wheels. It's not that they don't remember. The memory data has deteriorated away, but we'll see. Now hold steady. You may feel a slight sting, but don't worry. Uh, I'm fairly certain I can put you back together again. Megatron, you were a bold leader, but your reign is over. Look alive! I will now take command of the Decepticon forces! Hey now, Mr. Furnace Mouth! This here's my outfit now! Yeah! Please! You think I'm gonna leave things to you? I'm the man! I'm the big boss! You know, I wouldn't follow any of these losers if they left a trail of energy.
John goodies. It's a Starscream to team up with these nitwits. <laughs> Jolt's memory device is quite complicated in its design. Because his body is so small, it had to be quite complex. That's obvious, of course. But what I'm finding seems to be quite extraordinarily configured. Uh, okay, Red Alert, great. I need that in words I can follow, all right? The bioanalytical scan structure of his brain is more human than Transformer. <gasps> Really? Yes, I see now. That's why Jolt and the others can so easily relate to the children. Oh. <laughs> That's also why it's going to take a while longer to analyze him, Optimus. There is no other way to do it. Keep working. Report! Something's headed this way with ants in its pants. I'll get a visual on it. Hello, Starscream. Primus, the creator. Is it awake? Yeah, Starscream, but I think he's kind of groggy. Some clever devil went and stole most of his spark already. <laughs> Rhinus, get back to your mega lock! Hey, look, it's our old punching bag! Annoying! <laughs> What do you think you're doing? I will not permit you to bring harm to Primus. <laughs> From what I've heard, Primus and Megatron are both ancient history now. This is the age of Starscream! Optimus, you know what time it is! I know! I've got your back, Optimus! And I've got yours, Windsaver! Let's, Let's do, do it! it. Fuselage! 
What? Are you telling me you guys haven't seen a girl cruise on her own energon beam before? <clears throat> Joel, take care of the kids! Yes, sir! Hmm? I'll put some wind in his sails! Don't you realize that wind can mess up a girl's hair? <laughs> Pretty good defense for an old coot. Beauty pageant's over, Mom. Time to crown the loser. This may mess up your mascara. on the road to the giant planet. Hey, Red Sack, it's fun to creep up and attack suckers like them when they're not looking. <laughs> That's why I don't mind being called a creep. Obviously a ghost. Bro, oh, you know I'm afraid of ghosts. Hey, he's not a ghost, right, Jolt? Where are the minicons? <gasps> hey, put the minicons down! Oh, I 
I'm so scared of you, I think I'll run away. See ya! Come back here! <laughs> Wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. Yes.